Mr. Liss, come on. You gotta talk to us. This is not the first time we've tried to get answers for women who gave money to Stephen Liss. There's a woman, there's a woman in Idaho who you took $7,500 from and told her you were gonna give her, help her get a baby. Do you have anything to say to her? You wanna give her her money back? I mean, every time we bump into you, it's the same thing. This is the baby Liss promised Melissa from Idaho. She says she was desperate to adopt after the birth of her stillborn son. You were at your emotionally most vulnerable point. Yes. And he took oh, advantage he of you. Yeah, he did. He did. Come on, Mr. Liss. Liss took her money, but there was no baby. So we went looking for him and caught a break. We found another woman with another complaint against Liss. It actually sounded like a great opportunity. It was a startup company, and he gave me so many details. Liss contacted Andrea Zalonis about an administrative assistant position in his new business. I Googled him because I would Google anybody I was thinking about working for. Team 10 stories popped up in her search. And I went, oh my goodness. She found stories on how Liss's attorney's license was revoked for cheating clients in all sorts of cases, including divorce and adoptions. Zalona says Liss told her he was successful in the surrogacy business, that he created new families. He says he places like 100 ads a week looking for surrogates and donors. Liss is now advertising a family law practice. That's illegal, according to the California Bar Association, because he's disbarred. The ad led us to his current office in Pacific Beach. He did not want to talk. Steve, come on. Every single... Really? Wow! Really? He preys on people that are willing to do anything. And then when you hit that emotional spot in your life, tragedies have happened like that. I think that he preys on that emotionalness.